Hey, how's it going? Um, a lot of you had questions, you know, here on the telephone, you know, how do you get your ring set from the ground? I'm going to just demonstrate one way that's right out of Jepson's uh, Tree Climber's Companion on how you can do that. So we've got our throw line in installed over suitable crotch. In this case, I'm passing the left side of my throw line through my large ring. And I come down to my small ring. I'll untie my throw line, pass it through the small ring, put a throw bag back on. So see how that catches there? And then I'm just simply going to pull up. So can everybody see that? The smaller ring is going to go up and over first, and when it does that, we'll have the set of rings installed over our isolated crotch. Give it a little pop. And now we're ready to tie on our rope and pull it through our set of rings. So here's another uh, video example, uh, a method in the Tree Climber's Companion, for those of you who want to do it. Got our throw line installed over a suitable crotch. Um, first thing I'm going to do is through the small ring, I'm going to pass in my double rope. And if you got your line set at 60 feet, you're going to need to pull through, you know, 60 foot of rope for a total of 120. Okay, so we got that. Everybody see that? Now I'm going to come over here, pass my throw bag through the large ring, and I'll just clip a carabiner onto my throw weight. So you see that, I'm pulling that up, big ring's got the jammed weight in it. We got our double rope laying in the small ring. Now I just let the throw weight down. You want to take care to not twist your lines and you kind of have to hang on to the one side of your system. And now we install our climb line on the end of our throw line. Make sure your stuff's not twisted up. Now you got your rope system installed. 